Hello. Okay. I'm just going to pop on for like half a second. Um, if anybody who looks at my post on here and on my business page, um, I've been posting a little bit about weddings because this is the time of year when I meet with like bride after bride after bride after bride to plan for their wedding either later this year or in 2022. So because of all the COVID and then the weather hit. And so I have not had in person cake consultation or tasting in probably a year. I've been doing a lot of drop-off tastings, which is where, I'll show you this. I drop off, I meet them somewhere, somewhere safe, you know, in town, and I give them a little six pack of cupcakes and I label the top so they can see what flavors they're getting. And I give them, a, previously before I meet them, I email them or message them or call them and give them a basic information and pricing. And I meet them with these flavors and they can take them home, <clears throat> excuse me, they can take them home and taste them at their convenience. And then they can call me, email me later and say, hey, here's what we like, here's what questions we have. And then we have been like setting up, I've done Zoom consultations or just over the phone. So today I'm super excited because I get to go to an in-person cake consultation for the first time in a long time. And so for any of you that are in the cake business or in just in the wedding vendor business, you know what I'm talking about, like the cake consultations or just consultations with brides and grooms. It's, it's a big deal. You want to be presentable. You want to be professional, but you want your product to really shine and you want to be on top of your game. So for those of you who know me on the day to day, I normally have on very little makeup, stretch pants or yoga pants, a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. My hair is piled on top of my head. Of course, the past year got a mask on. So this is not my normal jam. So <laughs> I was just gonna say when you're when you're meeting with the bride and groom, you try to look a little bit more professional than maybe you do, you know, during quarantine. So I definitely fixed my hair and put on some makeup today and put on a little bit of jewelry, make myself make myself feel better and make myself presentable. Um, but this is a family that I'm meeting today. I've done a lot of cakes for them. I've done other weddings for them. I'm super excited to see them. Um, I'm actually going to their home. Now, I would not suggest that for everybody. I think you need to know the person or know the family in order to commit yourself to sit at their house for an hour. But that's what I'm doing. I'm super excited. And if you've been seeing me post about um, possibly doing um, like a training on wedding cake consultations and all that stuff, this will be part of it. So we'll talk about preparing ahead of time and what to bring with you and what questions to ask while you're there. Um, all those things is what we'll be talking about. But I just wanted to pop on and say hi. If you have questions, let me know. If you're watching this on replay, let me know. Or watching it live, let me know. Hello, Pete. Pete, if you ever want samples, just call me. I will meet you and bring you samples. But thanks for watching you all. Hey, Christy. Uh, thank you, Christy. Makeup for the first time in like forever. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to meet with them. I'm bringing my samples. I'm bringing all my information. And I'm basically going to take a lot of notes while I'm there. That's the key. Take notes while you're there because you will not remember a year from now when they have that wedding what they said they wanted during the consultation. But I'm gonna pop off. Bye, thanks for watching.